Tonight, he has won millions in a St. Louis courtroom. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Don Marsh. I'm Leslie Lyles. This is a huge case of product liability. It is a story about a truck that didn't work right and a man who was injured for life and a ruling against General Motors for $19 million. News 30's Sandra Mitchell has the story for us. She's in our newsroom. Sandra. $19 million. Well, you'd think the victim would be celebrating tonight. Far from it. The victim is so badly disfigured that he would not even appear on our cameras tonight. We pick up the story where it started six years ago. February 28, 1990, the victim was near death. His 57-year-old body crushed, trapped beneath this four-and-a-half-ton truck. We couldn't detect that he had a pulse or any blood pressure. Uh, he was really, really blue whenever we got to him, so he obviously had not been breathing for a while. Rescue crews saved his life, but the victim lost his leg, lost his sight. But tonight, he has won one of the most expensive legal verdicts in St. Louis history. It's a shame that his life was basically taken away from him by the careless attitude of the people at General Motors. For six years, defense attorney Jerry Dunn battled auto giant GMC. His claim, that when his client was crushed and nearly killed here on Yeager Road in St. Louis County, it was because a parking brake on this tow truck failed and rolled over him. And that General Motors knew even then that the brake system was faulty. They knew the park brake was defective, but they knew it was unreasonably dangerous to the consumers. Dunn cited one, two, three other lawsuits in which victims were hurt, even killed when struck by a GMC truck with a faulty brake. They had knowledge of these other claims. They had knowledge that this product was defective, and they made a conscious decision that they weren't going to tell anybody about it, and they weren't going to do anything about it. Now a St. Louis jury agrees, ordering General Motors to pay the St. Louis victim a whopping $19.5 million. Dunn says it won't bring back what his clients lost. Nobody in their right mind would accept any sum of money for what he had to go through. Tonight, Dunn says perhaps the money will send a message to General Motors that even all these lawsuits could not. I think the message to General Motors is very clear. If you can't make a safe product, then you need to warn people that it's not safe. Well, we wanted to talk to General Motors about this verdict. The company spokesperson had no comment today, except to say the company is considering an appeal in this case. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm Sandra Mitchell, News 30. Leslie? Thanks, Sandy. There is late word tonight about a two-year-old boy...